كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليدبروا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين All praise is indeed due to Allah Almighty Blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah to bless him, his household, and to bless every one of us. I am very excited, my brothers and my sisters, to be commencing this beautiful series entitled Reconnecting with Revelation. Revelation is extremely important because as humankind, we require guidance from the one who made us. He who made me has to send to me guidance and instruction, what he wants from me. Without that, I would be misguided completely. I wouldn't know what to do on earth. And therefore, if you were to look at revelation, you would realize it's the gift of the Almighty. The Quran, for example, is the word of Allah. Allah Almighty has revealed this beautiful book as a guide to us in order to tell us why he made us why we are here, where we go when we die, what he has in store for us, all of this is from Allah. And sometimes we tend to forget that he has mentioned in the same book that he will test us. He says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Indeed, I will definitely test all of you with a lot of different things, different challenges. And he says, glad tidings to those who bear patience. So if we are meant to achieve glad tidings through patience, then you need to realize that Allah Almighty wants us to endure things. He is going to put us through difficulty upon difficulty, hardship upon hardship. And that is why every human being on earth has some form of hardship and difficulty, so much so that we consider death a very great calamity in a lot of cases. Someone dies, you say, I was affected by the death of my father and my wife and my husband and my whoever else it may be. Because we look at it as something negative at times, not realizing the only way that you can actually go to the hereafter or to paradise is when you die and you go to the other side. So this is actually a very great gift of Allah Almighty where he has given us an opportunity to pass the tests one after the other. He has given us an opportunity to be tested and to prove ourselves. And at the same time, he has sent revelation. Because of our hardships, because of our difficulties, we tend to forget that the Almighty has taught us how to navigate through those difficulties. And I tell you, you would never be able to achieve true contentment and happiness and true success unless and until you look at what the Almighty has to say about your difficulty, your hardship, and you try to resolve it in that particular way. So the gift of Allah Almighty is revelation. And sometimes we need to be reminded to reconnect with that revelation in order for us to achieve the greater success. I've chosen to go through the verses of the Quran during this month of Ramadan Starting from Surah Al-Hijr, and the reason is in the past we have gone through many verses from Surah Al-Fatiha, going through to Surah Al-Baqarah, Al Imran, etc. And we got to Surah Al-Hijr, Surah Al-Isra, Surah Al-Nahl, and thereafter we found that uh, I didn't want to rush through the verses and therefore I said we will complete this perhaps in another series. Here is the series. Although we're going to be focusing on reconnecting with revelation, the lessons will be beautiful and inshallah they will be apt for the current situation across the globe knowing that we've just come out of this pandemic or we are just about coming out of this pandemic that has affected the whole world. Many people have suffered great losses. People have lost loved ones. People's health at times no longer the same. People have lost jobs, they've lost a lot of money, whereas others have gained. In the interim, in that hustle and bustle, and in those hardships and difficulty, 
we have found ourselves sometimes drifting away from revelation, hence the title, Reconnecting with Revelation. In fact, we also had a time where we were restricted from the masjid, from the house of Allah. We were restricted from gathering. We were restricted from physical meeting and so on. Now that things are easing, it's important for us to reconnect with Allah. And reconnecting with revelation would help us reconnect with Allah. So to be able to attend the masjid, to participate in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be able to meet with one another for good cause is all part of what Allah Almighty wants of us. I'd like to start off with a beautiful verse of Surat Al-Hijr, verse number 92, where Allah Almighty mentions accountability in a unique way. When we die, we are going to go back to Allah. When we go back to Allah Almighty, He is going to ask us about everything. Everything you did, Allah is going to ask you, why did you do this? What did you do? How did you do it? Etc. And Allah will reward us based on what we did. And obviously, we believe based on His mercy. So it's the mercy of Allah that will grant us forgiveness and it's the mercy of Allah that will ensure that we earn paradise but we have to do as much good as possible. The human error, the human nature that we have might lead us to a few sins here and there. We may do things we're not proud of and Allah teaches us always to turn to Him. If you've turned to Allah Almighty, you have nothing to worry about. If you are conscious of Allah Almighty, you have nothing to worry about. So Allah Almighty says, فَوَرَبِّكَ In verse number 92 of Surah Al-Hijr, فَوَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ عَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ By your Lord, which means Allah is taking an oath, by your Lord, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by Allah, this is an oath, it's a guarantee, لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ We will definitely ask all all of them, amma kanu yamalun, about what they used to do, whatever they've done on earth, we will ask them. They will be held accountable. So, don't think even for a moment that you are going to get away with something that you did, or an action of yours. Anything, you will be held accountable by Allah Almighty. He will either forgive you or punish you or reward you based on what exactly the deed was and what it was followed by. So if you've committed a sin and you followed it by forgiveness or with forgiveness, seeking the forgiveness, you will be forgiven by the will of Allah for as long as you were genuine about it. My beloved brothers, my sisters, don't forget, if you have committed a sin against Allah Almighty, He will forgive you the minute you ask for forgiveness genuinely. But if you have committed a sin against a fellow human being, you will need to seek their forgiveness. They may not forgive you instantly, but you will have to ask them for the forgiveness. May Allah Almighty make it easy for us because on the day of judgment, what is worrisome is when we have not sought forgiveness from people whom we've wronged, perhaps they may not forgive us. When it comes to our actions, the most important thing we need to do is stay away from what's known as association of partnership with Allah in any way, shape or form. That is called shirk. The biggest warning that revelation has for any one of us is to abstain from shirk. To abstain from association of partnership with Allah in any way, shape or form. That would ensure that the mercy of Allah is close. That would ensure that Allah Almighty would forgive us because He says to us quite clearly that one thing I'm not going to forgive is if someone has not sought forgiveness from having associated partners with me, again in any way, shape or form. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness and grant us a deep understanding. So Allah Almighty says, I swear or by your Lord, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which means it's an oath that we will ask them all about what they used to do. 
when that day comes, may Allah Almighty have mercy on all of us and grant us ease. I think that's a good way to reconnect with revelation is to understand accountability and the day that we are answerable to Allah. May Allah forgive all of us and grant us ease. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر